Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zay and today I'm going to be talking about my fall TBR and fall releases that I'm looking forward to reading. This is the best time of the year. It is fall. I mean, when this video goes up, it'll be officially fall, but in my eyes, when it hits September, when September 1st comes around, it is fall and it is my favorite time. It's time for all the cozy reads, some darker reads, and fantasy, paranormal books. It is just the best time and I have a lot of books on my TBR that I want to read this year. Feeling that I'm actually going to read a lot of these books. My October TBR going out really soon so you might see some of these books. But with that being said, let's just get right into my TBR. So we're going to start out with my TBR and then we're going to talk about the new releases that I'm looking forward to that are coming out in October, in November, holiday reads. I will do a special video for that because I'm a big holiday reader and so I definitely have a lot of books that I'll probably be wanting to read around that time. But we're just going to stick to our October and November releases right now. So anyway, let's just get right into it. The Fall of Bradley Reed by Morgan Elizabeth. So I have not read a book by Morgan Elizabeth yet, but I think that she's going to end up being a favorite author of mine because she, her books just sound really, really fun. And this is a part of her, I think it's called Seasons series. I'll definitely put something up here if I'm incorrect about that. But each book in this series kind of takes place during like a season. So the first book is Tis a Season for Revenge. It's a Christmas book. I have not read that yet, but I plan on reading it this year. Second book is called Cruel Summer and it's like a summer book. And then this one is a fall read and each book pop culture references. Like the first book is like Legally Blonde inspired. And then this book is John Tucker Must, Must Die inspired. So I don't know too much about this one, but this follows Olivia. Olivia is getting married and she's actually left at the altar and she's really upset about this and just really embarrassed about how her ex has treated her and so she decides that she's going to get revenge on him. So she starts researching and looking up thing ideas for what she can do. Now unbeknownst to our heroine, um, our hero Andre, yes Andre, he is a FBI agent and he's actually been investigating her fiance. He's been doing a lot of shady and illegal things and he's actually gotten our heroine involved. He's been putting things in her name and stuff. So she's under surveillance along with her ex. And because she's been searching like all these crazy ways she wants to get revenge on him, he's like, okay, I need to step in because she could be a reliable witness against her ex against her ex, but he needs her to not become a criminal um, in the process of this. So I think he like steps in. I don't know, it just sounds really fun, but this cover just looks really like fall. It's so pretty. And I, I don't know, this one just sounds really good. So I'm excited to give it a try. Um, like I said, yet to read Morgan Elizabeth, but I've heard really good things about her. And she just, her books just sound really fun. Her plots just sound very interesting to me. So I'm excited for this one. So the next book is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. So, oh my gosh, this book, I mean, every day I see something on Instagram about this book. Like everyone is obsessed with this book on Instagram. Everyone is loving this book. It's just what everyone is talking about and I have got to check it out and I have just been saving this book because I just think it'll be really fun to read in the fall time so i don't know too much about this book i think there's like a war going on and i don't know our main two characters i don't know what does this say okay this says when two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection they must face the depths of hell in a war between gods to seal their fate forever so I don't know. That's all I know about it. I've heard that this kind of reads more historical fiction than fantasy, so I can't say 
and I'm not nervous to read that because I don't read historical fiction. That does not interest me in the slightest, but everyone seems to really enjoy the romance and the writing and I definitely want to give it a go and I love this cover. I think it is so pretty. So I'm excited to read this one, very nervous to read it, but I am just excited to see what I'm going to think about it nonetheless. If you've read this book, definitely let me know. Um, I want to know what you all think of it because I've just heard nothing but amazing things. I do have access to the audiobook. I know this is on Kindle Unlimited, so it's very easy to get your hands on, but I'm excited to read this one and see what the hype is about. Okay, so next we have a fantasy series, and that is the Crowns of Nyaxia series by Krista Brabant. I have really been enjoying Krista Brabant this year. She is just such a great writer, and I actually read, yes, this book. I read this book already, like, during the summer, and I did like it, but I listened to it on audio. The I just didn't really love the audio narration, but the narrator has been changed. Like the audiobook has been re-released with new narrators, and I'm excited to reread this and uh, to have it. I already have my tabs ready to go, um, and just read more about this. But this was just such a fun book. There's so much going on in this book. It's so action-packed and i really just want to reread this i need to and then the ashes in the star cursed king so um yeah i'm excited the second audiobook will be releasing in october so i definitely plan on reading these really soon i did really like the first book like i said i need to reread it because i just i don't remember a lot of it i just remember it was very action-packed there's vampires humans it's kind of like the Hunger Games-esque vibe to it. I liked it. I did not love it, but I honestly just feel like I, like the audiobook affected my experience and stuff like that. So I just want to go into it and read it again. And I would like to finish this duology. Um, now these covers are going to be changing because the author has been picked up by a traditional publisher. Um, but I wanted to, since I already own the first book, I wanted to go ahead and get the second book. In the same cover so i'm excited to own the ogs but i really am excited to read this series because everyone loves it and i didn't love it i really liked it gave it four stars but again i just think that it was more of a me thing and i need to reread it okay so in the same world um this book is a part of the same world as this one i believe i want to read six scorched roses by chris robin as well so i think I think, I can't remember where in the reading that's recommended that you read this book, but I, I know you can read that book after this duology. Um, I think it kind of takes place before the duology. I can't remember. And I do think there'll be more characters in this world. I don't know if the characters from that little novella are in this book or not, but uh, show up in this world in the Crown of Nyaxia series. I believe so. I've heard a lot of people really enjoy this little novella. I don't know any about it but the cover is absolutely stunning so i'm excited to read this one as i am excited to read all these books so next we have the butcher and blackbird by bren weaver this has been all the rage on bookstagram that's all everyone's talking about i had to buy this book because i love the cover it's like the black and the pink yes i'm obsessed so all I know about this, it's about two like serial killers. It sounds so interesting to me because it's like a dark romantic com comedy. I've never read anything like that. I do enjoy dark comedy. Um, so, and I read a few books that are kind of the same vibe, but not a dark romantic comedy. So this one has just sparked my interest. Very interested in reading it. I kind of want to go ahead and get to it before everyone else starts reading it and talking about it, but I'll, it's getting to that level. And I kind of want to jump in before it just kind of blows up because the more something is hype the harder it is to kind of detach from that and kind of figure out what you think and your own feelings and things like that so i'm not sure um when i'll read this one but i probably will be reading this one very very soon it just sounds so interesting and it's pretty short too which so it seems like a quick read but this one sounds really really good i love like serial color romances like everyone else so I'm intrigued. Next we have Foxglove by Adeline Grace. So I loved 
Belladonna last year and I actually will be rereading this one and then I'll be reading the sequel. So this is like a Death and the Maiden retelling and it was so creepy and like par it's also like paranormal and there's kind of some horror elements to this to this book as well and so I just loved it. It was the perfect vibe for October and I read it last year in October. So anyway, this book is I hope it's really good. I've tried to stay away from spoilers and stuff like that. And um, the little of what I've seen, people have really been enjoying the sequel. So I cannot wait to read this one. This is like very, very high on my TBR. And just, I'm excited to reread this one and then jump right into Fox Club. Okay, so next I wanna read Manacled. I have been wanting to read Manacled for a while, but I wanted to wait until I could vlog my experience because I just thought that's the one that I wanna get on camera. So I'm really ready to read this one. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. It's it's my first Jemaini fanfic and I haven't read any yet, but um, this will be my first fanfic. So, and I'm starting with like one of the best ones of all time. Like, yeah. So anyway, I want to read this one like ASAP, very, very soon. So hopefully it'll be a winner for me. And I just absolutely love it. As far as like my TBR, then we'll get into the anticipated releases. The last book is Sea of Ruin by Pam Gonwin. Listen, I need to read this book. I can't believe I haven't read it yet. I'm going to be prioritizing it this year. I just think this is one of the most beautiful covers that I have in my collection. Um, but I'm very excited to read this one and it'll be my first Pam Gonwin. Okay, so now new releases that are coming out that I am anticipating this fall. So there are so many good books coming out within the next couple of months and we're super close to it. So I'm just so excited. I can't wait to read all the good books. So the first one is Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. Oh, October 10th, cannot come fast enough. And today she just like gave a little sneak peek into the audiobook. I will not know peace until I read Caught Up. This book is literally like top three in my anticipated releases. Okay, then we have Better Hate Than, than Never by Chloe Lees. I own the first book, but it, the first book is called Too Long to Make a Ride, I think. And then this one is the second book. I think the entire series follows sisters. Um, this is Chloe Lees' second traditionally published book. Um, Too Long to Make a Ride was her first one. So this one was perfect to read during the fall season. So judging by the cover, I think that'll be the case for this book as well. So yeah, this one comes out um, October 10th as well. And then we have Hopeless by Elsie Silver. This one comes out October 12th. This is Bo's story. It's the last book in the Chestnut Spring series, which is so sad. Cannot believe we're going to be saying goodbye. But ah, Bo's book. First of all, the cover is absolutely stunning. But Bo's book has so anticipated, and I'm just very curious to see how this series is going to end and what Bo's story is going to entail. So then we have the book, which is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. This book comes out, it's going to be absolute madness. Um, I'm gonna have to hurry up and read it so I can stay away from spoilers and the hype. Um, I am stoked for this book. I really enjoyed Fourth Wing. It was just fun. You know those books where you just like, I don't care about the writing. I don't care about any of that, this, you know, other details in the story. I just got lost in it and I had fun. And that is what Fourth Wing was for me. And I am a very, very excited for Iron Flame. Um, the ending of Fourth Wing was so interesting. And I definitely was like, okay, I need the next book immediately. So very intrigued to see what Rekki Ross is going to do with Iron Flame. I think there's going to be quite a bit of uh, books in the series, so I'm very interested to see where this story is going to go and how it's going to develop. So lastly, we have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. This book comes out October 7th, so I'm sorry, November 7th. Um, I think this is Small Town and Billionaire. Um, I love the purple. I love the vibe of this cover. Um, but I'm very curious to see what Lauren Asher is going to do next and after her Dream One Billionaire series. So I think, I think I'm right about those trips. I think it is small town 
and I think it's billionaire. I could be wrong, but this one sounds very interesting and I'm just excited to dive into a new series by Lauren Asher. A lot of books to read and no time to read them all, but we're gonna try. Definitely let me know what you all's fall TBR is looking like and what books you all are anticipated. Anticipating, I definitely left some books off of this list. It was just <laughs> growing a growing list and it was really big and overwhelming. I know Brittany Cherry has a book coming that I want to read. Candy Steiner has a book coming out that I want to read. Um, Catherine Cowles has a book coming out soon. Um, so there's a lot of other books that I'm going to be reading. But these are just some that I wanted to talk about. But let me know what you all want to read this season. Maybe I need to add it to my TBR. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely make sure you all follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on Goodreads as well. All of those are linked and you all definitely want to encourage you all to come and check me out over there. But if you made it this far, leave me like, just like a fall emoji, like a pumpkin, something. Just leave me something fall. Um, but thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.